Welcome to the City of Louisville Remote Planning and Zoning Commission meeting over Zoom. Today is September 1st, 2020, and we have a quorum present virtually. I want to give everyone listening from home some instructions on how to speak if you desire to. If you are viewing on your computer or through the smartphone application, press the raise your hand button. If you have called into the meeting, press star nine to raise your hand to speak. Once your hand is raised, staff will bring this to my attention and we will let you speak after the item is read and the staff presentation is given. If you are having trouble using these features, please email planning at cityoflewisville.com or call 817-938-4409 for assistance from staff. Our first item on today's agenda will be the uh, approval of the last meeting's agenda, or excuse me, last meeting minutes. Do I have a motion or any additions or corrections to those minutes? I'll make a motion to approve as presented. Motion by John, do a second? Second. Second by Alvin. We'll go down the roll call for our vote. <clears throat> we have William. Aye. John. Aye. I also vote aye. Alvin. Aye. Karen. Aye. Has Aaron shown? No, not yet. Okay, and Francis. Aye. Okay, motion passes six to one, one absent. <clears throat> the next item we have is uh, two regular hearings. We'll call the first one uh, first. This is a regular hearing, a final plat of Walter's Old Town Edition, Lots 1, Block A, on 0.59 acres out of the John W. King Survey, abstract number 320, zoned Old Town Mixed Use District, located at 135 West Walter Street. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, the final plat for the Walters Old Town Edition was submitted on August 3rd, 2020, um, in accordance with House Bill 3167. Staff has reviewed this plat and has found um, some discrepancies between the plat and the Old Town Development Ordinance. Uh, these discrepancies are an incomplete title block, missing contact name of the owner, incorrect sheet size, the setbacks were not labeled, the zoning of, of the adjacent lots were not labeled, um, street right away, um, the existing buildings require a survey as shown, and the owner's certificate of dedication did not match the dedication found in the appendix, as well as an incorrect signature blog. Staff recommends that the Planning and Zoning Commission disapproved the final plat of West Walters Old Town Edition for the deficiencies enumerated and delegate to staff the ability to accept and approve the plat once all the listed deficiencies are corrected. Thank you, John. Do we have any questions or concerns for John? Any commissioners for any discussion? Okay, may I have a motion, please? Motion to motion to disapprove based on the deficiencies enumerated and give staff authority to uh, approve once the deficiencies are corrected. Motion by William, second? Second. Second by Francis. Do roll call vote. William? Aye. John? Aye. I vote aye. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Francis? Aye. Motion passes, seven, six ayes, one absent. Second regular hearing is for a final plat of Louisville Executive Boat and RV Storage Edition, Lot 1, Block A on 11.95 acres out of the John W. Hay 
John H. Havens Survey, Abstract Number 541, Zoned Warehouse District, located on the east side of Railroad Street, approximately 1,480 feet south of East State Highway 121. Good evening, Commissioners. Um, the final plot of Louisville Executive Boat and RV was uh, submitted on August 3rd, 2020, and has been reviewed by staff. Staff found um, with following deficiencies, um, zoning of the adjacent property needs to be corrected, a certificate of ownership and adjacent uh, property ownership needs to match the Denton CAD information. Um, easements, these restriction and conferences needs to be noted, a title opinion to be provided for the right of way dedication and correct planning and zoning commission approval block to match the appendix with the new chair. Um, staff recommends that the planning and zoning commission disapprove the final plan of Lewis Boy Executive Voting RV storage edition for deficiencies and delegate to staff the authority to accept and approve the plot once the listed deficiencies are corrected. Okay. Commissioners, do we have any questions or concerns, discussion? Now, may I have a motion, please? Move to disapprove based on if the deficiencies deficiencies enumerated and give staff the authority to approve once the corrections are made. Second. Motion by William. Second. Second by Karen. Do our roll call vote. William? Aye. John? Aye. I vote aye. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Francis? Aye. Motion passes, six ayes, one absent. Uh, Chair uh, Mixa, uh Aram Ali has just joined the meeting. Oh, Hi guys, okay. sorry I'm late. All right. Next on the agenda, we have two plats on it for a public hearing. The first plat is a final plat of Castle Hills Golf Villas, phase three edition containing 15 residential lots and three open space lots on 1.95 acres, 1.959 acres, out of the PR Splain Survey Abstract 1212 and JT Dooley Survey Abstract 343 with a townhouse two zoning designation. It's located at the southeast corner of Lady of the Lake Boulevard and Sir Lovell Lane with three associated variances being a replat of Castle Hills Golf Villas Phase 3 Edition, Lot 1, Block F, Lot 9, Block A. Commissioners, the final plot of Castle Hills Golf Villas Phase 3 and its three associated variances were originally approved by City Council on April 1st of 2019. This plot was never filed with the county. The applicant has since modified the plans for the subdivision um, and is reducing the number of lots from 21 to 15. The revised plat was originally scheduled for the August 4th PNZ meeting in accordance with House Bill 3167. And it was recommended denial was specific deficiencies and to see the plat again as a public hearing. The applicant has since resubmitted the plat and all of the deficiencies have been addressed. Um, the three variances that are being requested with this plat were requested and approved with the previous plat. Uh, the variances are as follows. A, to allow a 30-foot street right of way with a 10-foot street sidewalk and utility easement on each side in lieu of the required 50-foot right of way. Streets in the 1996 General Development Ordinance require a minimum of a 50-foot right of way. Uh, the applicant is requesting a 30 foot four foot street right away with utility easements. Um, the street width will remain 31 feet, which is consistent with the surrounding subdivisions. Um, staff has no objections to this variance. The second variance is to allow a zoning designation of townhouse two. Um, the 1996 agreement between the city of Louisville and the Bright family uh, allowed the zoning districts that were 
um, in existence at the time of this agreement. The townhouse two zoning district was was um, implemented after 1996, and it was it was created to allow developers to downzone properties from multifamily by allowing smaller lots and unit sizes. Uh, the applicant is requesting to use the zoning designation of townhouse two. Uh, this zoning designation has been used in other subdivisions in Castle Hills, such as Castle Hills Phase 10 and Windhaven Parkway. Uh, staff has no objection to this variance either. Uh, the final variance is to waive the alley requirement. Um, the 1996 General Development Ordin Ordinance requires alleys for all single family developments under 10,000 square feet. Uh, the developments in this subdivision range from um, 2,500 to 3,700, but um, front entry developments allow a larger private backyard patio area and are common for townhouse developments. The staff has no objections to any of these variances. Are there any questions? All right, if, if there's no questions, uh, staff recommends that the Planning Zoning Commission recommend approval of the final plat for Castle Hills Golf Phase Phase 3 and its three associated variances to City Council. Um, if approved by City Council, the approved plat will be brought back before the Chairman for signature. Okay. So I guess at this time we'll open up the public hearing. Anyone who wishes to speak on this Agenda item, either uh, do the star nine or raise your hand button. Uh, Chair, there are no speakers for this item. Okay, we'll go ahead and close the public hearing. Uh, commissioners, is there any discussion before we take a vote? Move to approve. Motion by Karen. Second. Who said that? I'm sorry. Francis. Francis, seconded by Francis. Um, all in favor, vote aye or nay if denied. William? Aye. Lin John? Aye. I vote aye. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And Francis? Aye. Seven ayes, motion passes. Thank you, commissioners. This item will be appearing before city council on September 14th for its second and final public hearing. Thank you, John. Okay, our second public hearing is a final plat of the Heritage Towers edition containing three open space lots and one multifamily lot on 22.33 acres out of the Stephen Riggs survey, abstract number 1088 zoned planned development mixed use district located on the west side of summit avenue approximately a thousand feet south of justin road being a replat of lot two block b lewisville corporate center edition good evening commissioners um so this plat uh if you recall the preliminary plat came before you on june 2nd and was approved uh, by staff on august 17th and the zoning for the property was approved on July 20th by ordinance um, number 232-20-ZON. Uh, this plat has been reviewed by staff uh, for compliance with our development code. And we did find some discrepancies um, from section 6-28, 6-73. Um, and then uh, the zoning ordinance 232-20-ZON. Uh, so staff is recommending a denial of this plat or disapproval of this plat uh, for those listed conditions and delegating to staff the authority to approve once those conditions are remedied. Okay. Do we open a public hearing in this situation, Michelle? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are there any questions from, from commissioners before we open the public hearing? Okay, we'll go ahead and open the public hearing at this time. Anyone you wish to speak on this item? please do the star nine or raise your hand button. Madam Chair, there are no speakers on this item. Okay, thank you. We will go ahead and close the public hearing. Do we have any discussion, commissioners, before we vote? If not, may I have a motion? I'll 
I I'll moved move to, to uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, John. All right, uh, I just moved to disapprove uh, for the deficiencies that were spelled out, and um, you know, let staff you know get them addressed. A motion by John. I second. Second by Francis. Is that is that Francis? Aram. Aram. I'm sorry. I can't That's see her on the screen, so I can't tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Second by Aram. So we'll go ahead and do our roll voting. William? Aye. John? Aye. Mary Ellen? Aye. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. Francis? Aye. All right. Motion passes seven to zero. All in favor. Final item on our agenda is to adjourn the meeting. May I have a motion for adjournment? Move to adjourn. Motion by William. Second. Okay. Second by Karen. Mm -hmm. Will I take the vote, William? Aye. John? Aye. I vote aye. Alvin? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And Francis? Aye. Okay, we are adjourned.